What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back. And it looks like Pippa's dead. It shouldn't have attacked me. But anyway, fucking Mortimer, no idea how he's fatigued. Literally, all he does is sit. So we got, oh, you're fucked. Strickland, sorry, dude. Uh, let's see, we got a fatigue. Fuck, I can't. She has a headache. Might as well get her now before it progresses. It just sucks. And, uh, oh, you also have a headache. Damn, Tippets. Well, Cowboy wants some XP. So let's go out and get some lunch. These people are really tasty to eat. They have been waiting patiently downstairs in the hospital for me. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Ew. Kenneth. Turn to kill them all. What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck? What the hell happened? Sir. 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 Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening. It's dangerous. Let's get you out of here. Let's get you out of here, quick. Time has lost its effect on me. But the suffering continues. Don't you worry, I'm coming back for you. I'm getting Mr. Elwood to safety first. You can tell there's there's a murderer on the loose. Just bodies and blood and bad stuff happening. Oh, by the way, Mr. Elwood, I found the cure to that thing you were talking about where your head keeps hurting. It's death. So this is how it ends. Farewell, my life. You betrayed me, God. Time to go. Hey, I got a treatment for headache. Holy shit, I could actually save somebody. I got one. Who do I want to save? Well, alright, now I gotta carefully decide here. Because she's worth a lot, but I feel like they're connected. So she is gonna, like, go missing or something if... He's already dead, son of a bitch. Ah, tippets. And she'll disappear. Alright, I'm gonna treat Tippets. Tippets, 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 Tippets. Where are you? You're worth a good blood quality. You are excellent blood quality. Do you need any Yeah. I have I have Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. All right. I'm sure I'm going to hear all about that in a moment, but first... Good evening, Mr. Keep blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Do you really? Tell me, Thelma. What do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Here in London? Yes. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. That's not how it works. No. You are deluded. You think you crave blood, but you have no physical need for it. You have no idea what that is like. But what am I feeling? I... I'll leave you. Good evening. I need blood. I will show you what a real vampire is like. Selwood mentioned a craving for blood. There is a craving for blood among vampires. Addictive feeling. Feeling 
hard to fight off. Almost impossible. Your friend Thomas recently learned about that feeling. Perhaps you and him can discuss it in the afterlife. Ah. Why kill me, brother? We could have ruled this land together and forever. District ain't gonna suffer. If anything, the district should improve. You know, that's two people knocked the hell out. Reneth, what happened? Good evening. What can you tell me about that Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away? And did you see all this? No. I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but well, maybe it was him. Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. Oh. Goodbye. Wait, did he just call her Nurse Crane at the end there? He said, I thought he said goodbye, Nurse Crane. Jonathan. Your kindness is much appreciated, my lady. Is there anything you require? That booty! I... I spied my mother at the funeral. Have you ever revealed yourself to a member of your family? No, Jonathan. And I'd advise you even from thinking about it. But what if I was close to someone and wished to tell them the truth? Fear, loathing, disgust. And then they will plead to be turned. They will see it as salvation. Then there's the risk of gaining the attention of vampire hunters. condemned to attend the funerals of all we love dying is the final act of life Jonathan present company excluded accept it I don't know what to expect am I cursed to an eternity of solitude with time we Ekon tend to go into isolation if we survive long enough that is Or we can stay together forever, Lady Ashbury. I mean, she ain't bad looking. Look, she got booty on her. Look at that. Start calling her Lady Thickness if this keeps up. But there's definitely a booty. Ripe 27 for the rest of eternity. I'd smash. You would too. Don't lie. Um, one other person I wanted to go pay a visit to before I go to Swansea. <laughs> Where is Mr. My Kid's Dead and Now I'm Sad at? I gotta find him. Where are you at? Because you're not gonna get better. Kinda silly to leave you alive. Come here. Down you go! Back on track. Um, I want as much XP as possible. About 3,000. Let's see. Who else could I snack on right now? Um, oh, I should treat some of these. Hmm. 
or one three. Three, four, four, three, two. Oh man, he's worth a lot. But if I get him, I could potentially lose Snithercott and Camilla. But that's a nice XP. Xiao Shun has a cold, she's three. Benjamin Palmer, I'm not going to be able to treat Neuralgia, that's the problem. Tobias Whitaker, I can treat fatigue. So let me just, let me just find him. I'm going to go this way to get like into town. Alright. Like this way. Vince Shaoshun to go back to Whitechapel. I just want to find Mr. Headache. Where are you at? be nasty. No one wants you in your horror touch. I don't even want your disgusting horror blood. Hot. There's Camilla. Tasty, young, red-headed woman. Her blood will sum up the best. Watch yourselves! This one of them! Is he? Damn it! Where are you, headache man? I know you're sad. Your son died. But you shot at him. He stole from you anyway. This is getting rather irritating. Look at that 15 XP. Like, you gotta eat, man. If you wanna survive, you gotta eat. to come back. Ooh, watery brisk blood sample. I'm starting to figure that I'm not gonna find this guy. See. No, he's not missing, because it just said he had neuralgia. This has fatigue. There's Joe. There's Barrett. Fatigue. Sepsis. Are you? Various with pneumonia. Right with a cold. We are down by the docks. This is right around where everything first went down. Ah, a snack. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can. I cannot enter. 
I really wanted to get to 3,000 XP and upgrade my uh, my blood spear, but. spend some time improving the quality of Whitechapel. A lot of folks here are getting sick. Considering I can't seem to find the man that I want. wanted a little snack. You don't mind, do you? You don't mind, right, buddy? Gotta shoot me with a fucking BB gun, apparently. for sure. Add three. I already have that. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. I need a common handle part. Son of a bitch. Uh, recycle. Get one and all that. No, I did not. shows up, but the recipe is unknown, because clearly one of the most brilliant surgeons of the time, no way he'd be able to just reverse engineer what it was, that's completely out of the question. Titus, I know there were a couple anemias. I got a lot of treatments now. So, let's go talk to Swansea. See what's up. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. So, what's the deal? Edgar. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order, and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. 
Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. Ooh. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Do you really believe they would come for us here? In such a public venue? McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Oh, I guess I'm gonna go, uh... He's a pillar of that community. He's worth a fuckload of XP. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Um, before I do that though, I really, really want to get a level. Who could I eat? I could eat you. Mortimer. Mortimer has fatigue. I have a headache. I agree. You would be a fucking tasty snack, but then she's gonna dip and she's worth too much XP for me to let her go. Man, I should have waited. Should have waited and drained Pippa at the same time. Thankfully, I got these two. This guy's by himself. You. Never mind, you're four. I can't get you. Oh, wait. I don't think. Oh, Sean. A thousand XP. Pillar in his community. Well, I'll, you know what? I'll just drain someone when I get over there, and then I'll find a place to rest. Like, maybe the barkeep or something. I don't really give a shit about the people over there. Like I said, now that I know I can't cure migraines, pretty much, uh, this has transitioned from, like, a fine Japanese steakhouse that where I was, like, preparing Kobe beef and, you know, getting them all happy and whatnot into a, uh, Japanese all-you-can-eat buffet. Everybody fucking dead now. You like to shoot, do you? I like to lift people and watch them die. Sit down. Come here. And heal on bites pretty good. It's a district I have not been to yet. I need to get over to there. I don't I think I'm supposed to like take a boat. That's how I got here before was taking a boat.
Unless they're gonna try and convince me that it wasn't him. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't attack her. I just happened to run out of a room. We will see. Depending on his answer, I may feast. Booth Digby is friends with Frank. I now have a hint. Want to get rid of uh It's like track and then untrack. There we go. Ah, Booth Digby. Just the man I was looking for. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. No. Jonathan Reed. see you're a dickhead. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've... So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember. Uh, oh, you're fucking lucky that you're four. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. I know you're looking for an honest job, Booth. You're tired of this criminal life, aren't you? It's just an idea. Edwina loves to run things so much. You can never really leave the gang. Wet boys for life, you know. Goodbye. Everybody in that wet boys gang seems to be a massive pile of cunt. Evening, madam. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you oh, want, then? You're the wife of the douchebag that I killed. something from me, maybe. You're a five. Can I see what you have to say? As long as you have money. Right. I do need a common handle part. I think I need this for the gun. Remember what I need for the gun. I will let you live for now. As you sell things that I need. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint. I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Sad Brenna. Mark my words, miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. A vampire? Whatever do you mean? Ah, oh, you, drunk guy. What? Don't I die. Yeah, I'll die. Inebriation. Yes. Take me. Fill you up so that I can eat you soon. What if the sewer dog is back? And hunting all these poor folk. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth, claws, murders by night. Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, my lady. Ichabod. Good evening, sir. 
Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything. It's a dumb answer. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. And they also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. What kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. Not your fucking poster, boy. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. I'm looking the sad saint. Really? It's nothing personal. Good. Well, we will look more into a vampire hunter guy a little bit later. Yeah, we're gonna wrap this one on up. We gotta find the sad saint, but for now at least we're gonna close this chapter here. Uh, I still need to get to that 3k XP mark, which means plenty of people are going to get nommed on. So make sure to stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys next time with a feeding frenzy.